Nestled in the shadow of the towering Mount Ambora on the island of Sumbawa in Indonesia, the remnants of a once thriving village lay hidden for centuries, covered by the catastrophic volcanic eruption that took place here in 1815. It was one of the most significant volcanic eruptions humanity has witnessed in recorded history, with it being large enough to influence the climate of the entire globe, leading to famines around the world in the preceding years following the eruption due to the volcanic winter it created. We've already created two videos that focus on the Tambora volcanic eruption and the 1816 year without a summer. You can find those in the description below. In this video we'll be discussing the forgotten Tambora tribe. This community lived and prospered until nature's force brought a sudden end to their story. This site, rediscovered much later, came to be known as the Pompeii of Indonesia because, like its Italian counterpart, it offers an extraordinary snapshot of life frozen in time, halted by a violent volcanic eruption and the accompanying pyroclastic flows that ended this once thriving culture. Though details are scarce, this culture deserved a video focused entirely on them. They were forever lost to history after this event, but as archaeologists dug through the layers of volcanic ash, a picture of the Tambora people's life emerged. The remains of houses, complete with their contents, were unearthed, providing a detailed look into the domestic life of the tribe. Pots still containing traces of their last meals, tools used for everyday tasks, and even the imprints of fabric from their clothing were all meticulously preserved by the ash. The magnitude of the Tambor eruption was such that it affected not only the geography but also the demographic and cultural landscape of the region. The tribe, which had cultivated and thrived in the fertile volcanic soils, suddenly vanished in the wake of the eruption. It was in the early 21st century that archaeologists, following the tales and myths woven into local folklore, began to unearth the Tambora site, revealing an exceptionally well-preserved village. As the archaeological team excavated, they found that the volcanic material had created a seal over the village, a natural preservation that captured a moment in time. They discovered that the Tambora people's houses were built sturdily with a sophistication that indicated an understanding of engineering and architecture. Each home was found with its own hearth, and around it, the everyday life of the Tambora had been petrified. Cooking utensils, furniture and personal belongings lay as if waiting for their owners to return. Only, in most of these houses, the owners lay alongside said belongings. It's difficult to truly understand the chaos that befell this culture in its final moments. They must have been genuinely terrified beyond belief. The sounds of the volcano exploding, volcanic bombs and blocks smashing the ground around you, and this intensity only seems to grow with each passing moment, when the look of an ominous, dark-coloured, ground-hugging cloud catches your eye as it is expelled from the volcano. It appears to move slowly at first, only for it to build in speed as it edges closer and closer to the village. Once enveloped, the scalding sensation that would have followed as everything suddenly faded to black would have been truly tragic. The final moments of the Tambora culture were forever preserved in the ashfall and pyroclastic material that settled after this tumultuous event finally ended. Further study revealed a complex society that was not only engaged in agriculture, but also in animal husbandry. The remains of domesticated animals were discovered alongside their owners, suggesting that livestock played a vital role in Tambora society. Evidence pointed to the fact that they cultivated not just rice but various crops, possibly participating in crop rotation to maintain soil fertility. The Tambora tribe's craftsmanship was evident in the intricacies of their metalwork and pottery. Some metal objects bore intricate designs, perhaps indicative of a cultural or spiritual significance. Pottery fragments showed that they had mastered both utilitarian and aesthetic aspects of ceramics, with some pieces displaying elaborate patterns and forms. But these domestic items were just the beginning for archaeologists. Fields that once bore rice were now mere outlines in the compacted ash. Still, they told the story of an agrarian society that relied heavily on agriculture. Analysis of these fields indicated that the Tambora people had a well-established farming system, likely the backbone of their economy. As the excavation continued, items indicative of trade such as beads and ceramics not native to Sumbawa suggested that the Tambora were not isolated but part of a more extensive network of exchange that spanned the seas. The range of artifacts found indicated that their economy was diverse and connected to the broader economic systems of the Indonesian archipelago. The human remains discovered at the site were the most somber finds. They gave archaeologists a direct connection to the people of the past. Studies of these remains have revealed information about the diet, health, and even the DNA of the Tambora people. 
They have provided evidence of a genetically diverse population that subsisted on a diet rich in marine life, abundant in the waters surrounding the island. Amazingly, the language of the tribe has been loosely put together, and I thought it was worth it to mention that King Kong was the Tamboros tribe's word for star. Hmm, the more you know. Studies of the human remains and the artifacts found with them have allowed researchers to reconstruct the semblance of the social structure of the Tambora people. From what can be pieced together, it was a society with skilled labour, including metal workers and potters, which indicates a level of social organisation and specialisation. The archaeological site of the Tambora tribe stands today as a stark reminder of the power of nature and its ability to shape and erase human history. The Pompeii of Indonesia has provided historians and archaeologists invaluable insights into the lives of people otherwise lost to history. The site tells a story of a society that was vibrant, resourceful and interconnected, which met an untimely end due to a catastrophic natural event. For modern visitors and scholars, the site is a poignant testament to the resilience and fragility of human societies. The Tambora tribe's rediscovery has filled a gap in our understanding of Indonesia's complex historical tapestry, providing a narrative that connects the past to the present, and reminding us of the enduring human spirit in the face of adversity. Thanks for watching.